Okay, we're in the temple now. So he said he had to place some kind of music. We have arrived at the temple. Nice place. My lord, something has been barring me. What is it? Didn't Aneke mention something about a god choosing her race to lead Seneba? Then there is our world, where most worship a goddess. Are they the same or different? She's right. In my world, we had the god choose the royal race, and in your world, a goddess gave the royal family the keystone. I'm not very religious, so knowing the difference is quite hard for me to understand. At the very least, I can say that the beliefs of each god will vary a bit, but nothing contradicts the idea that they might coexist. Maybe each god creates their own world. I've never looked into it much myself. In my world, uh, uh, in my world, religious beliefs died out decades ago. It's the same for us. I'm surprised there's still a moral balance. The same goes for here. Wait, what's this talk about other worlds? Oh, nothing you need to worry about. It seems it does not concern me then. Back on topic, the way that the basement is hidden, it seems we need to search for some kind of switch to go forward. Unfortunately, I have no info on its location. I'm more curious on why they decided to tell you anything at all. Come on, this place is pretty small. Finding the switch shouldn't be a problem. Let's play a song. In Oregon. Being a bard, I do have some experience with a piano. It's definitely not one to one, but I want to try something. That seems to be the way forward. What song did you play? It's a section of an old hymn that would have been used to pray to the goddess. Forgot the name, though. But in this world, we have a god, not a goddess. More connections between the worlds, then. Let's not dwell on it. Okay, so you must be the deity of this world, and you do not heal me. Shh, white people worship you, huh? Okay, there are three paths. I'm guessing the middle path is the one that leads closest to the boss. Then let's take the... Normal paths first. Well, that's a lot of robots. Should I kill them all or spare them? Dungeon key? Hmm. What's in the other one? And why don't they chase me actively? Weird. Bolt potion. Okay, so this is the actual dungeon, huh? Is this a boss room or not? We have arrived. Do you have to say that every time we go anywhere? If, we d if I didn't, how would you know when you reach your destination? Yeah, Minori, ever thought of that? I'm just going to stop talking right now. Enough, we've been progressing way too slow as it is. So, but what do you need to do? All I need to do is connect myself to the computer, and any information I need will be downloaded off the internet. The inter what? Wh what do you don't you understand, Minori? My lord, are you telling me you understand? I don't get it either, but whenever something completely alien comes up, I'll s I still understand it. The internet he speaks of is a global system of interconnected computer networks that can link to many devices worldwide. My lord, are you making up words again? Actually, he is correct. Man, I wish I had superpowers like Kazuki. Without further delay, I'll start, I'll start update the updating process right away. Hello, may I ask who is using this? Huh, should I be asking you? What's going on? There's another android's consciousness inside the computer's memory. Yes, I uploaded my consciousness to the internet and forced myself to download here. May I ask what, which model you are? I am the War Domination Robot Beta version. My serial number is 6017. Bolt, is that really you? It's me, serial number 515732. Everyone calls me Sister. Big Sister, what are you doing here? Wasn't your experiment cancelled? About that, I need you to help me right now. I'm currently located at... Allow me to step in, won't you, Sister? What's this? What is it now? A stream is being forced on us. You thought you could fool me because you're an empty husk on my end, is that right? Let me remind you what happens when you try to outsmart me. You, Android on the other side. Me? Yes, you. Bring forth the person who turned you back on. Kazuki wants to speak with you. My lord. Don't worry, there's probably very little he can do to me from afar. Just be careful. Hello. What is your name? Golly, that's rude, considering you've never told me your name first. My lord, are you even taking this seriously? A bit of a backbone, huh? Very well then. I am the scientific genius known as Dr. Jacob Stein. No one can outsmart me. Oh, if I could outcool you at the name revealing thingy, my name is just Kazuki. Listen, Kazuki, and listen well. I want you to turn off the robot behind you and pretend you didn't learn anything about this mess, understand? Well, that all depends on one factor. And what's that? Will you call yourself, I don't know, a Dark Lord? And what would a Dark Lord be in your eyes? Evil, wants to conquer the world and stuff, maybe likes explosions as well. I guess you could say I am then. 
Listen, his goal is to create a robot powerful enough to conquer the world. Don't speak out of line. I thought I disconnected you. So what do you say now, Kazuki? Are you too scared to face me? How about turning off that robot behind you like I told you to? Now I just made my priority to kill you. Wah, I like you. Brother, that was a fail of an evil laugh. This is how one goes. Whoa. Wow, that was actually voiced. Who are you to lecture me on the way of evil? I can because I'm just that much better of a Dark Lord than you. Hey? Hear me, Stein, for I am Dark Lord Kazuki hailing from the world of Feywef. As well as Dark Lords, we must fight to the death, or something like that. I normally don't have time for children's games, but you've got my blood pumping. Very well then, meet me at Factory 2, across the ocean where you're standing. There's an underwater tunnel in the sea. You just have to get to where I am. Wow, he told us. How do you get that kind of information out of him? Char Charisma 100. Come on, his personality was so straightforward. He was quite easy to wrap around my finger. Update complete. The updating process was still running. Yes, with this new info, I can look into Dr. Stein's life. Searching. Dr. Stein, two years ago he released all the safety functions of all the robots in Factory 1 and let them free into the city. That was, that's what caused the factory to close down in the first place, right? Correct. After that, he took the prototype for the most current model of the WDRBV, War Domination Robot Beta version, known as Sister, and did upgrades on her himself. Is she going to be the boss? It appears that his plan is to make Sister the ultimate fighting android and conquer the world using her. With just one robot? Of course not. Once the ideal version of the robot he wants is complete, making clones would be simple. This situation is dire. What do you want it to do, Bolt? Help my sister, of course. Good, because I would have turned you off if you said anything else. You have logic after all. Guys, we need to get back on topic. Where's this underground tunnel set Stein spoke of? It's back in the city, between the hotel and the shopping mall. That's it, let's get going then. Wow, oh, no boss for that dungeon. Even though there were enemies. Huh. I guess it would be convenient to grind if I needed to. Seriously, why even have a save point if there's no boss? Nothing significant to fight. Any secrets? Rin coins? No? Can I play Tetris on the computer? Hmm. Okay, the temple bots are actually incredibly strong. You were actually intended to not fight them. You were supposed to dodge them. Even on easy mode, they can two-shot bolt. And there's... Oh, you just have to fight two of them at a time. Which kind of sucks. Man. Okay, so let's use Reflecting Shield on self because you are the weakest. If I could actually level up these guys, that would be amazing, but I highly doubt it's that easy, especially on hard mode. Look at that. Look how little damage I dealt. Oh, I am dead. Ow. Oof. Seriously. What the fuck was that? Aura Wind. Reflecting shield on self again. I don't know if that will actually work, but it would be pretty f <laughs> nice if it did. Ow. He's using a single target attack now. Seriously. Were we really not expected to beat this thing? Yes, one down. Uh oh, he's thunder waving us again. Ow. Oof. E. Oh, we actually did it! We beat the unbeatable enemy! But it was totally not worth it. Totally not worth the effort. Un unless that t turns out this is par for the course for the rest of the game and I actually need to level grind some more. Hmm. Maybe I should grind the previous dungeon if I run to another temple bot like that. Alright, let's hope this place is safe. Uh, what are you doing here? Hiya, welcome to the underwater tunnel. Okay, are you working with that guy? What's with the green... 
What's with the green tiles? Huh. Oh. Oh, it's just... There's no monster in the... Ah. It's just... Practically part of the town. Okay, let's go to the factory too. Um... My lord, what, does the lack of security seem odd to you? Now that you mention it, it do, that does feel a little odd. The front door wasn't even locked. What, you guys are here already? Whoa, where is this voice coming from? He's speaking for the intercom. I thought intercoms only existed in fiction. My lord, we've already gone over this. So, Kazuki, are you prepared for a battle? Sure. Alright then, well, I'm afraid I can't let you inside my lair so easily. You say you want security, you get security. Dramatically close every door. Scanning. Seems we need to activate five switches on this side of the, of the uh, on this side for the doors uh, of the doors to proceed. That's a lot of switches, but it appears to be the only way forward. Let's get this done and over with. Is this a heal room? Good. Strange that it lets us save just like the god statues. Okay, so there's a stair going upwards, and it's, that's. A Wait, we can go up a floor? We can use the elevator or stairs, but what's the difference? Okay, that one leads to a puzzle. Let's go back down and try the stairs. Maybe the stairs have some treasure. Are these robots hostile? They probably are. That's one switch down. But seriously, how strong are these robots? Are they temple bots? Final sec- No, there is a temple bot! Are you shitting me? Why? They're so OP even on easy mode. Ugh. Reflecting shield in case you fail to kill the temple bot. There's only one temple bot, but the others might be really strong too. Yes! Well, I'm on the easy mode, so that helps a little bit. Choke. Ugh. Wow, that, still, that is... W temple bots seem, feel like need to be nerfed a bit. All slash. Okay, good. If it was hard mode, I would have died, probably. Group heal? Seriously? There. So the temple bots are weak against magic. That's why I should have been doing from the start. Uh, go back for a heal. A uh, Harin coin. Why is he stopping in the middle of the road? I guess I have no choice but to fight you. Damn. Fine. There we go.
Nurse, switch down. Oh, I see a boss robot. Bird floor gives me this puzzle. Oh, I can buy stuff. Mm. There we go. Can I drop back down? No. I thought that would be pretty cool to get back down. At least two switches. Floor two. Mm. Okay, that's a nurse switch down. What do if I go through here? Will I die? No, I just get back to here easily. Okay, good. <laughs> See a chest. And a boss. Full potion. Final security a thousand. Hmm. Weapon blessing. Extracting gust. I have no idea if you're going to start with a magic attack. If, if, only, if I knew, that would be great. Yeah, he does. Shoot. Or a wind. Electric wall. Ow. Ultra slash. Weapon Blessing. Mist. Electric Wall Stack. Okay, so if he's defending, that means next turn he's going to use his uh, AoE magic again. Or a wind reflecting wall. Okay, 
Okay. Hmm. Attack. Dual aura wind. You use an electric wall. Ultra Slash, Weapon Blessing. Hmm. Mist. Hmm. Okay, I should be able to finish it with this attack, assuming Kazuki doesn't miss. Final security 1000. A bit stronger than the pr previous one. I may want to do some off-screen grinding before I head on to the uh, uh, actual boss of the dungeon. Alright, I hope the boss is on the next side of this barrier. We'll see. Oh, there's still more. What the heck? Why is there just one lone enemy guarding it? Is that enemy super swole or something? Guard up. Mana up. Life up. Power up. What the heck? Results permanent stat increasers? Saving that until the end of the game, obviously. But how strong are is this little guy here? Temple bots? Yes. Crap. Okay. Now to this room. Which floor? There's a fourth floor. How many guards are on here? I see a save point. And a and the manhole cover. What the heck? What if someone tried to pee from up here and it landed downstairs? Oh, this one's a healing save point, and it has the symbol of a god, too. That's proof that we're up against a boss soon. Difficulty 1. Hey there! What? When did you guys get here? Calculating, exactly 6.7 seconds ago. Just give me a second, I can't start a spell without an internet connection. Seriously? Hey, that's not fair! I don't care, really. Just tell us when you are ready. Thanks. Wow. Kazuki's seriously being this honorable? Uh, uh, he's seriously giving, uh, try, get, trying to give him a fair fight, unlike the Camelin? Heh. <laughs> Just about... Dial up. Calculating. This is taking too long. There. All done. Now face the true power of the War Domination Robot Beta version. Uh-oh. Startup complete. Sister, hello, I'm the War Domination Robot Beta version. Where are your orders, Master? Master? Oh yeah, so we're gonna mention, I erased all her memory after that little incident you guys started back at the temple. Now anything she does must be ordered from me. You monster! I'm afraid that th fellow Dark Lords and their minions shouldn't be judging me. That's right, Kazuki, I did some research. You're a descendant of a demon, are you not? Just curious, how old are you? 82 years old, where are you getting at? As I said, you're a monster yourself, quite literally. I wish your age reflected your wisdom. That should not be your problem. Let's get on with this already. Sister, destroy them all. Try not to damage the parts on the robot, though. I probably need them. Affirmative. Sister, it's me, Bolt. Searching data the banks. No reg information registered for Bolt. Try trying to access her backup memory, are you? I deleted that as well. Stored Bolt in the list of targets to be destroyed. Current list of targets. Two humans, one Nephilim, and one Bolt. How do you even get information about me? Does he know about the other worlds, after all? Activating combat mode. I should probably get out of the room for, for this. Seems like the only way out of this is to destroy her. Sister! Battle mode engaged. Sister emerged. Sis RPG. 
have no idea what to expect from you. I'm going to set up a reflecting shield just in case. But then I won't have enough for an electric wall, so maybe defend. If I can just get a handle on attack patterns. All slash. Yeah, defend was the correct option. What even is your gimmick, anyways? Group hug. Hmm. I need to set up an electric wall. Oh no, magic! Oh crap, this is bad! I, just, I, I can't use magic against her, otherwise I might risk getting reflected. He is dead. Uh. Need a super heal Supus. Supus, you cast mist on Bolt because he is the weakest. Bolt, I guess you set reflecting shield on yourself just in case. I knew it. Ow. She's going to uh, use a physical attack next, damn it. Or a wind. Electric wall stack then. Fence way up. Oh, uh, she's gonna go okay, so attack weapon blessing on you. You throw up a potion for yourself. Bolt, you should just use a normal attack and get some TP. She's gonna use her reflecting shield now. It has priority over all other attacks, even though she's slower than most of us. Ultra Slash. She's gonna use her physical next. Heal Kazuki. No, she's gonna use magic next. Okay, reflecting shield on self. Ow. He is tough. We need Aura Wind. Bolt, you need to cast Electric Wall. Oh no. Crap, this, her defense is slightly weaker than everyone else's. Ugh. Weapon blessing. Get an all po Should I use an all potion? Yeah. Just gonna okay, no magic against her for this turn. So let's just attack and get some more TP. She's using a very specific pattern. Literally three moves.
dead. I guess I wasted that potion. <laughs> Sister! Bolt, wh what are you doing here? Why am I damaged? You remember me? How is this possible? Whatever I was doing, it seems it was bad enough for you to harm me. It'll be okay, sister. There's probably someone back in the city who could fix you. There's no time for that, Bolt. Listen to what I have to say. If you think you won against Stein, you are very wrong. What do you mean? Stein's plan is to create the ultimate robot to destroy the world. That's you, right? Negative. We are beta versions, remember? Beta? You don't mean... Stein has completed the domination robot final version. Nothing can stand up to it. I have nothing worth enough upon for a diversion to give him time to activate it. You cannot defeat Stein. Please find a place to hide. I don't want you to die as well. I'm sorry, but that's not an option. But it's not logical. Sister, you need to learn the difference between logic and common sense. We came here to defeat Stein. Why would we run away? You mean you'll defeat Stein? I came this far to defeat him, so there's no way you can say it's illogical. Do you trust me? I do. I'll leave this world in your hands. She cut her own energy circuits. In your understanding, she's gone. What was that? Waha, well, you probably was done with you after that? Don't make me laugh. Kazuki, out the window! Uh, Is that a giant mech? How am I supposed to stand up to that? I'm wounded. There's no way you can win this. I've already won. How are we going to fight that? We need our own giant mech. Maybe sister was right. There's nothing we can do. Shut up. I get the fact that you just lost someone important to you. I know how that feels, but it seems like you forgot about the conversation about logic we just had. How is fighting that logical? If we run away without trying, your world is certain to fall into peril. If we fight and lose, we still get the same result. We can't be certain of that until we try. Seems like I lost. Very well done. I will tell you something you might want to know. As part of the same model as the one outside, I can reassure you that its armor is indestructible. If you want any chance of defeating it, aim for the cockpit where the driver is. The only problem is that it's too high. We could, we would have to fly in order to hit that. Which is why I will allow you to use a special service of mine. Oh, you're gonna turn into a plane? Hey, are you guys still in there? Is this a sequential boss? If you are, I'll gladly destroy the building. With this robot complete, I don't think I need it anymore. Don't worry, we're ready to fight. Hey? Eh? What? Yeah, hovering is awesome. My lord, I recommend you don't act too rash while flying. We don't have full control over it yet. Incoming. Ow. In other words, please do the exact opposite of what Supus is doing. Um, thank you. Hardly. Please give me a chance to save. How are you guys flying? It seems you do not know all the powers I was given as a test beta. What do you mean? Where are you? As a war robot, I was supposed to have the power of flight, but the ability was never finalized. Inside my systems are six hover devices. They don't have nearly enough power to allow me to float. In this case, however, I transform myself into six separate units, each with a separate hover device, and then focus all my energy into hovering. Right now, I'm under everyone's shoes. What's left of my memory and voice chips are under Kazuki's left shoe. So if Kazuki dies, they're screwed. Hey, Kazuki's shoes can talk. Very interesting. I guess that puts us on even footing, but it all boils down to how well we can battle, can it? I'll take you on any day. Can I save? Stein WDRFV. Well, I got all my resources back, but I still don't feel like... Uh, I, I, can't def I can't exactly cast any buffs, uh, uh, any of the defense buffs anymore. I'm gonna have to rely on... Uh, I should not have used that healing item. No, I needed it for this battle. I am an idiot. What? He's so powerful. I have no choice but to defend because I don't have any way to reflect that. Damn. This is bad. Bullet heaven. I can't dodge it, but I at least defend it against it. Ultra Slash! Super Heal. Distracting Gust, please do not reflect it. Oh no, no, no! Ow! It's bad. We need Aura win, but there's no, we don't have enough party members to really do much right now. She 
Yeah. I'm gonna have to use a potion at some point. Weapon blessing. Should've brought more potions. Yup. Oh no! Oh, that was close. I would have lost that turn. Okay, Supus. I'm not even sure there's anything you can do, so maybe you should just defend. Yeah, that was a good call. Ooh, nice crit. Or a wind. Ultra Slash on Stein. I'll use Weapon Blessing on you. And you should just use a normal potion because only Kazuki is seriously wounded right now. Keep up the buff. No! Oh, that scared me. He's still going. Just how much more can this asshole take? Defense. Heal self. He's probably gonna use Thunder Wave. Yes! 2000 experience obtained. Level up for everyone except for Bolt. No, how? Is this possible? Kazuki, I'll get you for this. Somehow in the afterlife, I'll find a way to kill you. Is he. Do I have to. Sh Does that mean I'm going to the afterlife as a dungeon? Boom. Stein has fallen. It's all over now. Yes, it's all over now. I see. Kazuki, there's something you should know. I know. You can't put yourself back together after you disassembled yourself. Yes, I doubt whatever energy I have reserved will last me much longer. Was I useful to you? It was because of your sacrifice that the world was saved. Of course you were useful. But he's not my fourth party member, despite his powerful uh, 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 array of support skills. I see. I'm glad to be of service to you. If robots have an afterlife, I'm going to be off to see my sister now. Take care, Bolt. Before I go, I want you to have this. I don't know how I got it, but whoever gave it to me told me to give it to you. Huh? The Blood Keystone? War Domination Robot Beta Version. Logging off. So, wait, this was planned. Somehow. Someone knew I would meet Bolt. They really are dead. Killed off for real. I feel like these uh, my, the re RPGs I'm playing recently are killing off party members a lot. Here lies Sister, a dear friend who found her peace during her last words. Here lies Bolt, a brave robot who risks his life for the world and his sister. I can still go outside, huh? Yes. Like, oh man, it's gonna take a while if I want to revisit the town, but I'm sure they must have something new to say. I actually went back and checked. The town doesn't really have anything new. And I'm, and I'm pretty sure I got every Rin coin in the building, so I should be good to go. Let's go back and go to the next world. Oh no, he's gonna follow us through these crystals. Kazuki, where are you? I traveled all over Feywef to get my revenge, but Kazuki is nowhere to be seen. That's because he's not in Feywef. Who is this flame? Who's there? I'm not able to show you my physical form, but I promise I mean you no harm. Who are you? I am the goddess, the creator of this world. So the gods themselves are against me, yet allow me to heal at their statues? A goddess? The one you're looking for is not in the same world you are in. He is taking the path that will lead to the destruction of all worlds. Is there any way you can prove that? No, but it seems you and I both want Kazuki gone. I try to lock each world through the use of what you would call a keystone, but that is proving to be useless. But the uh, angels imply that the gods are not all that benevolent either, huh? If you help me, I can help you. Interesting offer. It is. To make it better, I will grant you powers you cannot gain on your own. He's already strong enough as it is. So, will you help me? You defeated the Dark Lord. Good job. The next world can be found in the red gem next to the violet one. Hey, you've been absent a lot lately, Star. 
I need have no need to interfere. You have been doing a good job so far. It feels nice to be praised. So if I try to go back to Faye, will I actually run to him? No? Weird. There's still my ship. Hmm. Alright, let's see what's weighing us. Maybe the moment we jump in, will a Camelon will follow us and challenge us to a battle? Hmm. If that's the case, I'm on hard mode. Yes, let's go to this blood red world. Ninjas and Ur delusions. We're gonna recruit a ninja this chapter, huh? Once again, I am in the observ uh, 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 observing the hospital room as a ghost. The girl shows no sign of waking up. She does not show any signs of dying either. Come think of it, I have no idea who this girl is, yet I'm worrying about her. What if everything is actually happening inside of her dream or, so or something? Kind of like the Ash Coma Fury. Yes, yeah, so maybe she. Uh, maybe uh, this is all actually from the perspective of Minori. And this and this girl is actually uh, uh, the real Minori. Maybe this is Rin, the person we're collecting Rin coins for. Maybe if I check around this room, I'll find a hint to who, sh who she is. She's totally gonna be a, uh, be Rin, isn't she? What's this? A picture book? Seems to have been made by the girl herself, judging by the quality of the pictures and the writing. What I'm more interested in is the title. Adventures of Sufis? What? Sufis was the main character and I'm not? How? Curious about the, what the book may be about, I began reading. One day there was a boy named Sufis. He was a bard who grew up in the Sinaba Desert. Long ago in the Sinaba de Desert, there was an evil king known as Sakani. The people of the land thought he was not fit to be a king and killed him. Sakani's soul was tied to a grave at the bottom of a temple, waiting for, the mo for a moment to get his revenge. Years later, Aneke, who is Sakani's daughter, tasks Sufis with the job to destroy Sakani's soul before it breaks free of its grave. Sufis went through several challenges to get to Sakani's grave, and when he got there, he went through an epic fight with Sakani. Sufis ended up winning and bring and brought peace back to Sinaba for ages to come. Yes, but he also had help. It appears to be an abridged version of my travels of Sufis and Sinaba, only I wasn't even present in the book. Who is this girl, and how does she know about Sufis? So she must be Rin. This world feels very different from the previous ones already. Hmm. Where was it? it? Seems that this world's culture is massively different from the Nars, at least more than what we're used to seeing. An excuse to use the J a Japanese tile sets. That appears to be the case. What kind of Dark Lord do you think we'll see here? Probably a Shogun? That's a good question. However, I have another question to spice it up. Who do you think the hero would be? I'm afraid I don't follow. Each coin has two sides. In this case, we have Dark Lords and heroes. Camelon seems to be the hero of Feywef, Zupis and Seneba, and Bolt and Melida. I would hardly call Camelon a hero, my lord. Maybe Camelon's a dark lord and you're the hero, huh? But he has a point. Even if we don't think of Camelon as a, as a hero, he's still a counterpart of Kazuki. I seem to have a lead that each world has a fated a hero fated to defeat the dark lord. If we can find these heroes, our lives will be much easier. By the gods, our prayers are answered. You guys came from the crystal. Are you the messengers of the gods? Messengers, messengers of the gods? What? I need to tell the village elder at once. Let's just play along with it. It might be a way to find our dark lord. For once, I agree with Sufis. Hello, I've heard about your appearance. Have the gods sent you here to answer our prayers? Slow down. Where are these prayers of yours? Yeah, the gods like to rush me, so they never really fill us in on the details. It appears they have failed to inform you. Very well, then. This land is a holy land protected by the goddess Amaterasu. Here we live in harmony with her blessings. However, the Great Empire has been placing fortresses all over the world, all led by the current king. In each place where the fortresses are, everyone in the area is enslaved to mine underground caves, which completely ruins the land. This is the only place he hasn't conquered yet, which is why we prayed. You are our last hopes to protect this world. In other words, you think that the gods sent us to protect your land from the Empire. That's right. My lord, you think the king of this empire is a dark lord? It's quite possible. We might as well take this job. Very well. We'll protect this land from the Empire. Us against an entire country, huh? But we don't have our monster army with us. So how will we beat them? We'll just organize an army with the rebels? Thank you very much. So who's our hero then? My lord, I understand why you're doing this, but maybe you're getting ahead of yourself. It's not like we have any better options. We don't even know where to start. She has a point there, Kazuki. We know very little about this empire and what goals drive them. We don't even know how to find this king. Alright, alright, you made your point. Maybe we've reached a dead end too early. 
Never say you are at a dead end. Is that the hero? Who said that? Admitting there's a dead end is a sign of defeat. Even if your intention is not to give up, you will still hold your place. Before you know it, you won't be able to escape it, trapping yourself in your own path. The only escape then is death. And who are you? Despite my occupation, I feel I can trust you with my identity. My name is Ilva, a lone ninja. Most ninjas may have masters, but only I choose who I want to serve. In this case, I serve myself. You three are sent here from the gods, yes? Let me join you on your quest against the Empire. How do we know you're not a spy from the Empire? That could be too good to be true. What if the hero is actually someone else and we accidentally killed them? From here on out, I'll be un under your command. Where are your orders? Hold up, you can't force your way into our party. Even though that's exactly what I did? Shut up. We don't know if you're w w which, who you're with. We need to c ask the villagers if they actually know her. But even then, this could be a really deep cover operation. You're, you, you yourself said you were in a dead end. What if I told you I know a way to destroy the Empire altogether? Too good to be true. That's pretty hard to believe. That's okay then. Maybe getting crushed under the Empire's feet will allow some sense to rush into that brain of yours. Excuse me? My lord, I advise to ignore its taunts. Going by that speech, young lady, I take it he's your master as well. Please stay out of this then. What do you have to lose by hearing me out? Fine then. That's a smart answer. There are four imp Imperial fortresses throughout the world. Each one contains a special stone. Destroying all these stones will end up killing the king himself. Sounds too good to be true, but... Stones? It's more like they couldn't break the stones themselves and are looking for someone to break it for them. And why is that? There's only so much you have to know. Anyways, getting to all these fortresses will not be an easy task. What if she's the Dark Lord and the King and the Empire is the hero? That would be a pretty dark twist, huh? One of them is just south of here, Tower Ick. Destroying the st that stone first won't be any trouble. However, the fortress west and east of here will take a bit of a hike to get to. This sounds like a really big world if we have to go to three different locations. I don't care which order you take those three. But the last one is right next to the capital of the Empire itself. It's heavily guarded, so I suggest we tackle that one last. You seem to know what you're talking about. So you'll let me join you? Nope. Why not? You told us everything we need to know, so your job here is done. Good luck fighting the dragon, then. Yeah, whatever. Wait, what dragon? Maybe there is a dragon, or maybe there isn't. What if I didn't tell you everything? Maybe there isn't any stone for you to destroy. How do you? How will you know without a guide? Fine, you win. Just don't get in the way. Smart move. As I said before, I'll be under your commands. Where are your orders? Leaving me behind is not an order, by the way. Ilva joined the party. Alright, let's go. Wait! I finally found you, Kazuki. Um, Minori, why didn't you tell me you had an evil twin? Is that Rin? You mean you don't recognize her, my lord? No, unless it's... Oh, no. That's right. I'm your biggest fan. How? How did... I thought you were Rin. Dang it. Like I said, I'm going to cosplay as you, Minori. Oh, shoot. Anyways, I heard you've got a new robot friend, so I fought some up some special dual techs for you. The robot you speak of is not with us anymore. That's... No, all this hard work for nothing. What is life? What is meaning? Do I have anything to live for? Wah. So you're going to give up everything? Yes. Okay, just curious. You're not going to conf comfort me? Why should I? I don't even know you. Wait a minute, you're with Kazuki. That means must mean you guys can do dual techs with each other. What? Here you go. Shadow Shuriken, Holy Fire, Windy Fire. Lots of offensive moves. You just came up with free skills on the spot? How do you do that? I don't know. I guess I have no life. Anyways, you guys can't come back to the capital since you did some bad stuff, right? I'll just contact you from now on. How do you even get to how do you even get to this world? Ciao. I'm sorry, I was staring, staring at the grass. Did something happen? Hmm. I guess I will never figure out who Ren is at this rate. The majority of the food we grow in this culture are from plants. We hardly eat meat. We believe that all life is equal, and we do not want to anger our goddess who blesses us with this land. Who- so Rin really is that girl who was re reading all those books, or writing them? You must be the messengers from the heavens. I knew our prayers would be answered sooner or later. These are window- uh, these are doorless homes. Back in my day, there were no empires. At least I think there weren't any. Seriously? Hmm. Are there any inns around here? Probably. There's an item shop. All potion, full potion. Hmm. 
What level is the ninja? Well, level 15? Why is she- why are they joining a lower level than me? Fire magic and shuriken. Shuriken sounds like it'd be useful if there were fewer enemies. Huh? Yes. Burn one enemy, slowing it down, making it more vulnerable to fire. Magic defense increase. Hmm. What new skill did you learn? Swift foot. Increase evasion for the entire party. Holy glow. Stronger version of light flash. Curse. Lowers an enemy's defense. Hmm, that would work very well with his other skills. Hmm. He's dual tech, so. Two random enemies with dark power. Is that physical or magic damage? Or maybe even both? Windy fire. Oh, what? Wait. Does it target the entire party? Or only one person? Still, this could be a good combination with Minori. Defense ignoring damage. Holy fire. Hmm. The inn. Is there any Ren coin here? Gonna be shining. What's this a shot? Oh, I see. Just rings. Wait. What ring are you equipped with? None. Since you look like... You are very physically strong, actually. Even stronger than Kazuki. Without any accessories. Hmm. What the heck is this? Katana Scythe? Hybrids are getting less unique. Yeah, let's just get- I'm gonna stick with the normal versions, because those are the safest. Love Staff. Yes. Hmm. Tuned. What does Tuned do again? It's weaker, but... Hmm. Throwing Knife. Need three Samurai Armors. Oh shit, that took out most of my... Money. Hmm. Okay, let's see. I could probably use a great flute then. Nice and balanced. Oh wow, now he's stronger. Yeah, she, a ninja who wears samurai armor. Yes, generic no modifier gear will still get you places. But at this rate, Ilva might leave my party. Considering the, what happened with the previous person who tried to join. Still, she's very physically strong compared to most of our party members. We use Supus as like a deck of all stats base. Well, she's slightly slower than Sufus, though, even though she, you think ninjas would be super fast. Hmm. Is there really no Ren coin in this town? Can't be right. Oh. There must be a Ren coin. Dimensional Lake. No one's. Seriously. Seriously, no one even tried to go in there, huh? Weird. Where is the Rin coin? Could be in the house? Did I miss it? Hmm. Seriously? Dang it, everything has to have a Rin coin. This isn't right. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Flip Dimensions. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.